don't know these people, but they've spent the last 10 months getting to know everything about you, your colleagues, and your company. They've been quietly scanning and mapping your networks, collecting credentials, and identifying the critical data they want to exploit till today. Hello guys and welcome back. This is a new series. Title is Vulnerability Management. Let's understand what is vulnerability. Vulnerability in computing or a cyber network is non-secured entry point or holes. Using these entry points or holes, malicious user can do damages. Anything and everything present onto infrastructure can be vulnerable. Consider you are running company a. A named company is delivering B services. So whatever comes under A and B can be vulnerable. Hardwares, softwares, physical infrastructures, transportations, facilities, stuff, etc. Vulnerabilities can be present in any form. Let's talk about vulnerabilities of software code. What is software code vulnerabilities? When you write software code, you need to consider all aspects of security best practice. For example, if your software need to communicate to the internet, you should use secure SSL or TLS protocols like 1.3, and above. If you use older protocols which are vulnerable to the any attack, then your code is at risk. For example, if you use earlier version like 1.0, the code is at risk, which means your code having some flaws which create potential risk of compromising security. Like that, unknowingly, your software may contain many non secure entry point or holes using which attacker can compromise your software code and produce malicious output. Below are OAP top 10 software vulnerabilities which are found. Number 1. Broken access control. Number 2. Cryptographical failure. Number 3. Injection. Number 4. Insecure design. Number 5. Security misconfiguration. Number 6. Vulnerable and outdated components. Number 7 identification and authentication failure number eight software data integrity failure number nine security login and monitoring failure number 10 server side request forgery in separate video we will discuss about OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities in detail most effective way to prevent software vulnerability is to use secure coding standards enforcing all security standards now let's see what is frequency of data breaches and average total cost in US dollars below is IBM cost of data breach report of 2021 if you can see there is all various network attacks here and the compromised cost associated with it 2021 was a record year for vulnerabilities with the number of the new common vulnerabilities and exposures CV exceeding 20,000 for first time ever 2020 isn't looking any better. As of July, roughly 13,800 vulnerabilities have been seen or logged already, an average of 68% a day. Given the number, it's not surprising that organizations with poor vulnerability management are paying a high price. Average cost of data breach rose nearly 10% between 2021 and 2022 from 3.86 million dollars to 4.24 million US dollars. Same study found that pandemic and shift to remote work matter worse. In breaches where remote work was factor, the average cost was 1.07 million dollars higher than breaches involving non-remote work settings. Additionally, employer with predominantly remote workforce took on average 58 days longer to contain breaches than their non-remote counterpart did. Security management challenges Clearly many organizations are struggling to implement effective vulnerability management. This could be due to any number of reasons but below are few of more common culprits. Number one, tool overload. Many organizations address their security concerns by acquiring new tool for every concern. Threat remediation, asset management, vulnerability detection and more. 
this create a varied toolbox that looks good from the outside but in many cases these tools do not integrate well and create security silos preventing organization from taking more coercive security postures second alert overload a common complaint from organization is the overwhelming volume of security alerts flagged by SIM a large portion of these alerts are false positive that the system believes are malicious security team that are victim of alert overload are forced to spending an exorbitant amount of time time that could be better spent on remediation number 3 skill shortage organization are struggling to meet modern cyber security need in rapidly changing digital landscape there are lapses in cyber security skills and experience in both the job market and the workforce in the workplace in recent survey of 1200 security professionals 80% percent of respondent attributed one or more breaches in their organization to insufficient cyber security skill or awareness without sufficient personal vulnerabilities are going to pull up and overwhelm existing security teams half of the 10.0 CVSS vulnerabilities reported so far in 2022 scored incorrectly Flashpoint on Thursday released its mid year vulnerability intelligent report which found that while Flashpoint collected 11860 vulnerabilities in first 6 month of 2022 the CVE or NVD services failed to report and detail some 27.3% of them Brian Martin vice president of vulnerability intelligence at Flashpoint said organization need to understand that vulnerabilities disclosure landscape is highly volatile with standard days potentially introducing volume traditionally seen only on patch tuesday and similar industry events The reports also found that security team using CVSS V2 score as a basis for prioritization may be misguided as Flashpoint found that 52% of all 10.0 vulnerabilities reported in 2022 does far are likely score incorrectly when there is a lack of details about a vulnerabilities you score for the worst which gives artificially high number of many vulnerabilities vulnerability scoring under cvss v2 has never been fully accurate as it will not take into factor that evolve over time cvss v2 was launched in 2007 and later version especially cvss v3.1 that was released in 2019 takes into account more real life implication of vulnerabilities in future version of cvss better refinement especially for iot or ot vulnerabilities will help secure professional prioritize risk to their organization more accurately flashpoint martin said their researcher have also observed a discrepancy of 85% concerning discovered in the wild vulnerabilities reported in the first half of 2022 compared to resource such as google's project zero that shows exploitation more often occur outside of advanced persistent threat apt attacks there is a large gap between what the cvss model identifies as a critical vulnerabilities that require immediate attention and which vulnerabilities are most likely to actually cause problem in the real world now let's see what is vulnerability management vulnerability management is a process of identifying accessing reporting on managing and remediating vulnerabilities across entire system and this process is ongoing there is no end to this process we have to keep doing this vulnerability management there is many tools available to detect vulnerabilities depending on endpoints which we wanted to scan for vulnerabilities For example, CloudStrike, 
maintainable are the tools which are more in use in IT world for detecting vulnerabilities in assets and software etc. In last few years however vulnerability management has proven especially challenging for security teams to get right 